Hey guys, this is uh, Dan and Jacob from Fisher Deep Adventures. And Jacob, have you ever had trouble putting your roof? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so dumb. <laughs> Now you gotta wait until we stop laughing. Yeah. All right. Don't ask me a question. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna laugh. All right. Come on. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Adventures. Have hey, you ever had trouble getting on top of your roof rack or setting up your rooftop tent because you can't get your feet in the right place? Perhaps a. Um, hinge step from metal cloak uh is going to solve that problem for you so if that's something you're interested in uh please stick around for the video all right we decided to go with the kit from metal cloak i've been really happy with their products uh, there are a bunch of different manufacturers that make steps that fit on the hinges for the deeps but i really like the metal cloak design and like i said i've um, had good success with their products thus far uh, we put their control arms on we've got their drop brackets um, and we're just really happy with the quality of the products. So for this kit, it comes with the step. One of the things I really like about this kit is that it has two pieces so that you can do one part of the hinge first and the second part of the hinge so you don't mess your door alignment up, um, which I think is one of the great benefits of this kit. So to uh, get everything together, you're gonna need um, the T50 bit it either comes out of the Jeep kit or um, I have a 3 8 inch socket with a T50 bit on it. That's gonna go into um, the, the bolts that, the factory bolts on the door. Um, the kit itself, Jake, if you wanna take it out so you can. The kit itself has got uh, several different parts to it. It's got the individual steps themselves, which fold up very nicely. You have the upper arms, um, which are uh, fully welded construction. And then you have uh, a hardware kit that includes all the pieces and parts that you need, um, as well as the lower mounts and the shims for the door themselves. So to install that, you're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need a, a half inch wrench, a 9 16 inch wrench, a 3 16 Allen, a five millimeter Allen key and a 730 seconds. So inside of the kit, in order to get everything straight, so you have the two lower mounts, which are the metal pieces, and then you have um, shims that actually go into the recesses in the doors, and that's what spaces everything out uh, so they do things correctly. And then you have everything you need, plus a little bit of anti-seize, uh, the way the instructions go, it's pretty simple. You start with the lower hinge first, and then you just work your way up. So we'll assemble uh, what we can here on the table before we get started. And then it, it should just take a few minutes to put everything together. All right, so you take the uh, plastic washers. They go on either side. That creates the space for the hinge the larger bolts.
All right, so you, uh, because of the washer, um, it's gonna, you wanna tighten it so that it's, it's nice and tight, uh, but you don't want it so tight that it crushes everything. So just a few seconds, simple hand tools. And then we're gonna start with the lower hinge. Now I went ahead and uh, pre-loosened this just because I wanted to see what it was like. It is gonna take a little bit of force um, to get these out. So just be aware of that. I use this uh, 3 8 inch breaker bar just to pop them loose. put some anises on the uh, bolts. And these bolts take the five millimeter Allen screw. So as you can see in the bracket, there is some alignment. So, uh, we're going to have everything loose just in case we need to move it up and down. All right, like I said, I, I pre-loosened these and you're going to need a breaker bar uh, to make this happen. Because they are in there either with some kind of thread locker or just really tight. So the install was uh, pretty simple. Um, it went pretty quick. You just have to be mindful of how tight the uh, original hinge bolts are. Uh, you're gonna need a breaker bar, and I would I would suggest you get a 3 8 inch socket with a 51 or, or with a 50 uh, Torx bit on there so that you can put some pressure on it. Um, and make sure you get a solid one, not one of the safety ones with a hole in the middle uh, like we had, which we broke. Uh, fortunately, we had a solid uh, 50 uh, torque spit uh, to go on the breaker bar to break them down. So other than that, it's a pretty simple install. Just remember to use the anises since it's uh, stainless steel hardware. And I think it's going to work out pretty good. It gives it a nice firm uh, foothold. And uh, we did it on the back first uh, because that was where most of our um, challenge was getting up on the rooftop tent. And if we like it, we'll add add one to the front too. So it's a pretty inexpensive option that gives you a more secure footing, uh, especially when you're uh, working up on the rack. So this is uh, Dan and uh, Jacob with Fisher Deep Adventures. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, leave a comment, like, share, and uh, we'll see you on the trail.